Good morning. Please determine uh, the order in which you'll speak. Are you sure? Yeah, you're from the Thank you. I'm going to just read this because I only got two minutes. The Federal U.S. Forest Service stopped using Aerial Spring in Oregon back in the 1980s for yeah, a fine, reason, so. and that was you please. My uh, name is Mr. Cochran. I live out by Triangle Lake, where 50, 43 people were uh, actually tested with 24D in their systems. It's scientifically proven, which is the main pesticide that the forest industry uses. This is going to be mainly on the Forest Service. It's not to deal with local farms. It's about out, people who live the 100,000 people who live out in the forests or on the highways, like Highway 36, out in the country where they're clear cutting just to make Oregon look. I'm totally against that, but I'm absolutely against spraying poison on people. Here it is. The federal U.S. Forest Service stopped using aerial spraying in Oregon back in the 1980s for a reason, and that was because they knew the devastation of these poisons to all living creatures. Pesticides applied through aerial spraying can drift four miles or more from the point of application, so our current law of a 10-foot buffer is a disgrace. There are three types, types of drift, droplet, particle, and vapor drift. The most dangerous are the three that can cause immediate problems to any living creature that breathes the invisible vapors. The vapor drift is the most deadly. Uh, it can take two years or more for the pesticides aerial sprayed in an area to be removed naturally with wind and rain, but those poisonous chemicals end up in our creeks, <laughs> rivers, and ultimately the ocean. Some who profit from the pesticide industry will say that these chemicals are not harmful and that they've proven wrong as there has been extensive testing by scientists all around the world who have reported increased cancer from 2,4-D, the main ingredient of Agent Orange. And in the most common pesticide used in Oregon is just one example. There are people as well as animals all over Oregon getting sick and dying directly from these pesticides from cancer, stroke, heart attacks, and many other health complications. The fact is the current laws in Oregon protect and allow the logging industry to poison people, their pets, <coughs> and livestock, as well as any wildlife that gets in their way. If that's not bad enough, current laws make it even tough to even know when and where they're going to spray. Unbelievable, there are also fees to find out what poisons are going to be sprayed on your loved one's pets. And even then, they won't give you specifics. Call the Department of Forestry to verify this yourself. The aerial spray applications, applicators are extensively training and wear hazmat suits when applying these toxic, pe toxic uh, pesticides that can be deadly if you mix the wrong chemicals together. Why don't we, the people who live near where they are going to spray, get, get have us be trained? The loss in state revenue to completely ban aerial spraying would be minimal, but the advantages would be more worth than any amount of money. Many innocent people, their lives, livestock, as well as wildlife, would Mr. not be Cochran, sick would you and up, prematurely please? from these poisons that are being aerial sprayed on us yearly. Mr. Cochran. No one should. Can I just finish? I've got two little paragraphs. Please. Many innocent people, their pets, livestock, as well as wildlife, would not be getting sick and dying prematurely from these poisons that are being aerial sprayed on us every year. No one should have the right to be spraying these chemicals and contaminating our air and water, homes and state where we live, to just turn a bigger profit. How many trees are worth a human life? Thousands of Mr. Cochran, right would you please conclude? Oh, one paragraph and I'm Mr. Done. Cochran, Why thank can't you, I sir. finish this? Are you trying thank to you, shut sir. me up? This is not fair. Who's I thought next? we lived in the U.S. and we have freedom of speech. Oh, really? You are out of order, sir. I am, huh? I'm out of order. I bet you have anybody in here in the right mind to tell you you're Would you please order. take your seat? I wanted to finish my Would last paragraph. Would you please paragraph. take your seat? Okay, I just wanted to end with saying the, the, the United States sir, Forest Service stopped. Sir, I am not giving everyone in this Why room we, an unlimited ability to testify. Sir, please shut up our water line. Sir, please I'm gonna take go your seat. Back. I'm going to... Thank you. Let them talk for 40 minutes. They are technical you. experts that were in here neutral. I've to done the research on technical sir, science. And you were done, sir. All right, whatever. I apologize. And I apologize to everyone in this room. My life's in danger. Sir. They're cutting right behind our house, and they're going to hammer us with pesticides. If that was your family, would you be okay with that? Sir, My wife had cancer three sir, times. Sir, if you do five. not stop, I will ask to have you removed. What part of that do you not understand? Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm sure they will come and get me. But I can even finish my last Sir! Because it hit to the point. Would I'm you, done. Thank you.